state of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, light crowd tonight, let's be bold. Um, we'll have public comment first. Mayor Jan. Uh, I have a, a letter that I wanted to enter into the record, and uh, it is directed to John, it's not here, Rachel, and Kathy. I am directing this letter specifically to you because of your vote last month regarding the blight ordinance. My husband and I live within sight of a home that qualifies as a blighted property. We are extremely frustrated that after the town hall meeting that was held to get input from your constituents as to their concerns for their community and where blight was the number one identified concern, you have chosen to ignore a problem that is having a direct negative impact on people's lives. What's more, after gutting the original ordinance that was drawn up by the township attorney at great expense, I might add, you, Kathy, decided you could not vote for it. We were already aware of Rachel's and John's positions, so their votes came as no surprise, though still a disappointment. Rachel, you have said you felt that enforcing this ordinance would be costly to the township. I respectfully suggest that because it happened in other townships doesn't necessarily mean you should give it a chance here. Try it out and decide if that will even be an issue here in Mullet Township. John, you said you would want an ordinance voted on by the voters. I would like to point out that the people who truly care about this community had already done that when they attended the town hall meeting. Ironically, this past week, we received a notice that our property taxes are increasing. We were surprised by the increase, and we believe our property value has decreased because of the blight in our neighborhood. If my taxes are going to increase, the least you could do is make sure my property values are not going to decrease further, which they certainly will do if the blight in this community is not controlled. I have chosen not to seek signatures on a petition to request you revisit your decision on a blight ordinance this year, simply because you already know what this is, that this is what the people expect of you. We want you to know that we personally are very disappointed in you and your stand on this subject, and we doubt that you would pay any more attention to a petition than you did to the town hall meeting's number one concern. It is a shame that the three of you are each bowing to your fears rather than representing the people who voted you into office. Sincerely, Gary and Mary Jan. Thanks. We'll have Rachel put that in a minute. Any other comments? Uh, Carl Muscat. Uh, I'd just like to comment, in, uh, as Mary Jan said, some of the things that were uh, public input at the town hall meetings. Uh, Woodruff boat launch was uh, something that was very desired by the community. Uh, I checked with Mike Roper just a couple days ago. He said he is still waiting for a deposit from the township to proceed with the work. And he would like to see it as a spring project. Well, this is March the 4th, so if the board doesn't move on it soon and approve it, then it will not go in again this year. It will go in. It's going to go in in the fall. It takes 90 days for the um, paperwork to get the permits. They started the permitting process. I'm, I'm not sure when you talk to Mike, but we I worked with Mike just last week on this whole project. So it will be in. They, they hope to have all the permitting by August, and we will go forth. Well, I'm just going by what Mike sent me in the email. He said that the, the Royal Commission hoped to do it as a spring project, well, but they have not received end up a doing deposit. It, they're they're going to do it as a fall project. But it's not received a deposit from the board, so I mean, uh, I, 
thought that it was pretty well approved, and I'm not sure why a deposit hasn't been approved yet. I think a deposit was sent. I'd have to go check, but I have all that detail. You said they don't have any deposits. Well, I'll double check with Mike. But okay. that I project can... is well underway, well underway. So I'm not sure, you know, what was going on. But it's, it's going to happen. It probably won't happen until August if it is the close, earliest it would happen. We voted on that project quite a while ago, and we put money in the budget for that project. So yeah, I, re I realize that, and, 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 that and I realize there's a permitting process, forward. but it seemed ideal to do it as an early spring project. Well, okay. we would have, but I didn't realize it took 90 days until they told me, and they have to get the permits, we don't. Mm -hmm. So they're, they started the permitting process. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Cal, you want to say anything? What's going on in the... Uh, everything's pretty quiet at the county building here. Uh, one of the issues that are coming up with both the fairgrounds, there's a discrepancy on the, who owns the property, whether it's the county or the agricultural society. And our next big thing is going to be Griswold Mountain. Uh, the county's going to get sued either way, whether or not they turn it down or they approve it. So, just... Uh, <laughs> just like in Sheboygan <laughs> County, right? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Glad to see you here. Okay. Any other public comment? Okay, we'll close the public comment. Can I have a motion to approve the minutes of the February 4th meeting? Um, the uh, slight correction, the terminology that I used with the locks was light commercial as That's opposed to light industrial. Okay. Second page. Second page. Other than that, I uh, motion. What did you want it to say? Light commercial. Okay. So done. Is there uh, any uh, motion to approve? Is there a second to the? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Any opposed? Motion carries. Um, can we have the treasurer's report? Yes. Um, Mullet Township treasurer report as of February 28, 2014. In the general accounts checking, $72,603. The savings, $53,492. The fire fund, $221,750. The library fund, $60,712. The light fund, 17957 Liquor fund, 225, 225 The donation fund, 1507 The tax accounts, the savings, 462679 The checking, $15.96. The investment accounts, um, CDs, 77250 The fire CDs, 105591 the dedicated accounts, the schoolhouse, 136664 The township parking lots, um, 75930 Hall renovations, 30949 Okay, great. Let me just put those into the minutes. Okay, expense report for the month of February. Rachel? Uh, this is just for... February of this year, general fund uh, spent $18,196.22. The fire fund, $2,536.79. The liquor fund, $86.12. The street light fund, $12.07. The library fund, $4,687.86 for a total of $25,519.06. Okay, i just put those into the minutes also. Okay, we're going to move to um, the budget hearing. We are going to open the uh, budget hearing with public comment. Um, and we, I think we all got a letter from um, Carl on his ideas about the budget. Is there anybody else that has any public comment about the budget? Okay. Not hearing any, we'll close the public comment. Okay. The, the, uh, do you want to read the resolution? Let's see, where's the resolution here? Yeah, I want to close this. Uh, 
I think we um, need to have a little bit of discussion on the, rest, on, the uh, on the budget, just so we're all on the same. Um, for some reason, let's find the resolution. Um, the budget. Oh, here it is. The budget is. Um, Six hundred and sixty thousand fifteen dollars, if I read it right. And um, our general, our income is, I mean, just the general fund is three hundred thirty thousand nine hundred seventy dollars. So we are over by about three hundred thousand dollars, give or take, um, money that we overspend. It. And that means that we'll have to take money out of the money that we have in the reserve. And I just want to make sure everybody's aware of that, how much it is. Because when I took over this job, the first thing I heard from John Brown, who unfortunately is not here tonight, and I'm sure he'd echo this, and maybe uh, maybe uh, Bill will echo it too. He said that this township always kept money in reserve, about a half a million dollars. And Dennis confirmed that with me yesterday because it was the belief that if we ever didn't get a general operating millage passed or we didn't get the fire millage passed for some reason, we wouldn't be able to operate. And I think that is good sound fiscal responsibility. Now last year we were over but we had money coming in from the um, state of Michigan. So it's, you know, we didn't, I don't know, and I'll speak for myself too, I don't think I probably exerted not enough fiscal responsibility in looking at that and even understanding until we get down and add up all the numbers, the, the severity of how much we're over. But I just want the board, before we adopt this resolution, and I'm sure you've all read it or at least have some understanding of it, that we are, we're pretty far over. And we're gonna, if you look at this, the money we have, we're going to go into a lot of the money that we have, which means we're making choices this year that are going to impact the future choices that we can make. And um, I don't know if anybody has any comments or thoughts about it before we read the, the uh, Appropriations Act, but it, it's pretty significant to me to, to spend that much of our reserve money. Um, and I just don't like budgeting this way. but. You know, it is what it is, and we've talked, we've done the budget, and unless we pull some things out of here that we're not going to do some significant things, we're going to be into our reserves. So, is it, you know, has anybody got any comment relative to that? Do you know how much money we spent in the one on this last year? I can't hear you. Do you know how much money we spent in the one on one this year? We can't hear you. Yeah. Um, I can tell you. She asked how much money did we spend in the 101 account? Excluding this the beach. Excluding the beach? Mm -hmm. um, I think that will lose your mind. I, I ran the figures. We're going to be fine. Well, what are the figures? I mean, it's it, it, you're saying that we're making them a very, very um, conservative budget, which Absolutely. is... Well, then, you know, if we're making that, if we're making a $300,000 conservative budget, mm -hmm. I think that's unacceptable, too. I mean, I'm not one to budget with that kind of, I would budget with a 10 or 15% variance, but I would never budget with a 50% variance. I've never even heard of anybody ever budgeting with 50% variance. I don't know, you're the expert on that. Have you heard of budgeting with 50% variance in your, I, I don't think this is the right way we should be doing it. now. And I don't like you saying that, well, I know what the numbers are. You tell the board what the numbers are so okay, we can we all spend, be aware. I ran the figures of where we are right now. If you look on the budget, if you have, if you look at the last page. Of the budget? Mm -hmm. Just the 101. Yeah, just the 101. You have that there. It was adjusted. And you too. exclude that. We only have spent about 280000 And we never go over budget. Never. But this is the. We've never gone over. The budget was two. Was The adjusted budget was 428356 No. The That's, budget 
for last year was nine hundred and ninety thousand and we spent six hundred and eighty three but if you take the i'm taking the one of lunch yeah i'm taking what i'm talking 101. about if you take the beach off of there we've only spent about 280. i ran the figures the other day the beach was how much well, it's a, it's going to be over 400 because I have a bill from. Uh, so just so I'm with you, um, the ex total expense for 101 um, was one million five fifty seven dollars. One million fifty seven thousand one hundred eighty dollars. Yeah, because we had some budget increase adjustments in there, but those don't necessarily mean that. You because you budgeted the money doesn't necessarily mean that you have spent it or are going to spend it. It's there in case you need it. And we did not we did not spend nine hundred and ninety thousand last year, which was what we budgeted. No But way. we had four hundred thousand dollars coming in, so that would we have two hundred and two hundred and eighty thousand two hundred and eighty coming in. But this expense total expense revenue to expense no, is no just look at your expense line i did the, ex, the excess it says excess expense no well the expense is one million that's the, the million dollars no that's, that's not the figure you should be looking go this go year's one. budget was 990. that's right. mm -hmm. go okay. over to the last actual expense line the variance or the no, actual no, the expense actual was 690. Right. Okay. Oh, then take 400 at least from that. It's going to end up being about 416 is what we actually spent in the 101 if you take the beach out of it. <coughs> well, we'll be fine. I guess I'm just... Um, you know, a little, I'm just a little uncomfortable. I understand what you're saying. You're saying we actually spent 609,000. Right. You, you take out the 400,000 we spent, right. part we got and part we paid ourselves. So we can't, we can only take the part we got out because the other part we spent. But we had already committed that and budgeted for it in the last budget. But but I'm saying that's money that we spent, Rachel. So you yes. can't, just uh, thinking, you can't. Ra thinking, you took the, take the 280 out, that still gives you four hundred thousand. I mean, I don't get that you would take out the money we we put in as taxpayers. Well, yeah, but that was planned for two or three years ago. But so we knew that that was going to happen. And if when you do a project, you know you're going to be spending money. I'm not worried about that at all. But I'm saying this. You, I think you're. It's six hundred ninety thousand dollars. The only money you can take out of there is the two hundred and eighty. Okay, two thousand dollars. So that makes it four hundred. Let's it makes you four hundred and ten something. So we spent four hundred and ten dollars last year. Four hundred ten thousand dollars last year. Well, okay. I, I, that's what we spent. I, I, I'm not sure. I'd have to look at the figures. To well, make if sure. this budget isn't, if this adjusted budget isn't right, then or actual isn't right, then it what is, should we be looking at? That's that's the figure. Okay. But then I yeah, just subtract you're not going to get the beach for free. We had already said we're going to spend $120,000 for the beach. And so okay. it's there is a price to pay when you go into a project. But I'm Rachel, I totally agree with the beach. Get get me wrong. Well, but then. I'm trying to figure out <laughs> No, I'm trying to figure out how much money we spent last year and you're telling me we spent 200,000 and I'm saying I don't about know where you got that number. If you exclude the beach out of there, take the beach out of there. Yeah, and I'm saying you can't take out the money that we put into the beach from the from us. You can't because that's expenditure. That's expenditure. Okay. Yeah, but but you have to spend it. I mean, if you want the project to go forward, you have to spend it, and we agreed to do that. And I have and, no problem with that. I'm trying so to find out, Rachel. I don't think you're listening to me. Okay. I, I know what you're saying. No, you don't. You I you. do know what you're saying, but we had planned for that. I don't care if we plan. This is a budgeting That's process. That's how we plan for it. Well, maybe we better change our planning because we we've got some other problems. For it and it was. And so we did it. I'm trying to figure out how much money we spent last year. If we spent, if on this actual it says six hundred ninety thousand, and forget the money we got from the the, the state. We spent another $182,000. So you can subtract that out. That gives you almost $500,000 that we spent in addition to that last year. 
But we will not be spending that much this year. I know, but that's why when I look at a budget of $660,000, I'm we saying to myself, that much. that's our budget, Rachel. I know, but we won't spend that much. Then where would we want to take it out of the budget? Do you understand? It, it, no, the budget gives you just a roadmap. It's not going to be what we actually spend. We have never, ever spent. The, we didn't spend 990000 which is what the budget was last year. We didn't no, spend we spent 660000 Yeah, so we were one-third below that. And my guess is we'll be a third below this one. That's the way it's been working since I've been here. That's well, the way it's been working, and we've never, ever, we've always ended up with a fund balance that we used for the next year. We've always had that. And I guess what I'm saying is that we need to have a budget that is not 30% off or a third off. I just, I couldn't run my house with a budget that's a third off. I don't think anybody else could. We need a budget that's much more realistic. And I don't feel, when we sign a document like this budget resolution, we're saying to everybody that we are spending $660,000 and we're taking in $330,000. And, and you can say, but I've checked it and it's okay. And I'm going to say, I don't give a damn because I got, I got to sign off on this thing. You have to sign off on it. And, mm -hmm. and if I'm in fact we do spend it. this, if in fact we do spend this, we will go into our reserves. And I don't, I write a budget usually so that we know what we're going to spend, not some hokey budget that is 30% over. I think that is ridiculous. And if I would have had any understanding that that's what's going to happen, I would have been a, a, a lot stricter on the budget because I don't know where the fat is. You obviously know where the fat is in this budget, and I don't. It's in projects. It's in projects. It always is in projects. Well, in projects, we have... Well, it's road projects, it's Woodruff, it's Boy Scouts Parks, it's yeah. things that we do for the public. And all those We're not things. here to, to make money. We're here to give services and uh, take care of the public needs. And recreation has always been one of our things. That, that's and my point, Rachel. And we spend those quite projects. a bit of money on recreation and, you know... The board has decided to do that down through the years. Well, then the, you just made my point. Those projects are all projects we're going to do this year. And they're all in this budget. And so you're saying all our fat is in the, the projects? Yeah. I'm not sure well, where, where it is. That's where the big money is. But I'm not sure which, which project we're not going to do that is well, in here. That depends on whether the road commission comes through. Uh, there's a, always a lot of ifs in a budget, always. Okay. There's always I guess a lot I'm, of variables. I guess I'm the only budget. one that feels always. this way about the budget. But it, I, I will say, you know, it's probably too late in the game to go in and clean this up. But I won't run a budget this way next year. And, you know, we will not have a 30% differential next year in the budget. Because I believe this year we are going to take into our money. Most of these projects are going to come to fruition. And it's, it's a lot of money we're going to take out of our general fund. So, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that's that's um, that's concerned by it. But with that said, we can go on and do the resolution if nobody else has any other comments. No, I'd like to go through the projects that we're talking about. Uh, we've got a $55,000 road project. The $55,000 is for the um, Woodruff Road in. And we have the gravel project. You know, we do gravel. Well, that's got to that's gotta go. That's a, that's a required maintenance thing. Is that 126? Okay, 000? we've got 85000 on Boy Scout Park. Uh, we've got 100000 on the on the streetscape. Well, we added um, 
five is. Uh, we have we have streetscape, and then we added to the general fund twenty thousand. So okay. if you remember, we that would be for anything else. Anything else. What we we, and then we had eighty five for Boy Scout Park, Park hundred for streetscape, and that that came to one hundred seventy five thousand. I mean, you know, I, I agree that projects are where they are at, and that's my that's my concern about this budget. If all these other things are about right, which is wages and all, you know, landfill and whatever all these other things are, salaries, and these projects go through, uh, we're going to be spending the money, mm -hmm. and we're going to cut into to our our reserve. Well, it's just, some of it's already dedicated. <clears throat> And plan for. Well, you know, Rachel, I understand that, but we have to vote on this stuff. That's why we do the budget. I don't really care what we dedicate, where we print money, and how we move money around to make sure we, the government doesn't find out we have money. I understand all that, Paul Rerolf. Well. But I don't understand is it doesn't matter what little list it's on. It matters when it gets to the budget that we spend it or we don't spend it. And right now we're committing to spending $660,000. And I don't care what you say about it being 30% difference. I don't see where it is. I've been through this budget, you know, for the last two or three days trying to find it and I can't find it. I can't find what I take out unless you pull out Streetscape or you pull out Boy Scout Park or we pull out Woodruff Road or, you know, everything else is, is wages and salary and meetings and, you know, we, I don't see where it is. So I think we just have to go in with our eyes open, regardless of what you say about we're not gonna we're not gonna reach into this money. We are definitely gonna reach into this money. It's it's gonna happen. There's no way it won't. And and just because we have money put away for the schoolhouse, that doesn't mean we're gonna do the schoolhouse. It's just a place to hold a placeholder for money. So I really don't want to hear that excuse because I think the, the the budget has got to be what drives us. That's it. Nothing else. Not where we print money or what funds or whatever. I don't know, Dennis, what's your feeling? Uh, I certainly don't. I'm not comfortable with this much difference. I kind of, you know, agree with our old philosophy that we tried to always do with what we uh, what we took in every year and didn't eat up the reserves. I also agree that we are putting money away in special accounts to be used for these projects. But right now our special accounts aren't at the at the level that they need for to support these extra projects, I guess. Our special account for streetscape right now is uh, seventy five thousand. Seventy five and we're budgeting on I don't think that's it's right here under you just oh, on the just Yeah, the but there is another dedicated account that is a floating account out there. You mean we're, we're not seeing, we're not seeing all the money yeah, in our treasurer's uh, report? Yes you have. That's uh, what, the eighty. So it's right here. We're so going to put on 250. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you've got, you've got $182,000 okay, got there. You. And I got you've got it. Well, this is fireman CDs. Okay. That's fire. And this that's is, part of that. That's fire, fire savings. And these are. Yeah, and that can't about, be touched for streets. There's about nine CDs that total that amount. Okay, so we can't even every take year the we fire. Take, we, we take, take money at the end of the year, at the end of this tax year, which is coming up, and we. We purchase either scuba gear or fire truck, or we, we buy CDs. Right. right. Yeah. To to so when it comes up, we have it. Well, we can't touch that then. The 105. No. no. So that that gives you even less. It gives you 77, 250. It gives you 136, 75, and 30. So what is that? Um, 210, three, 400 thousand dollars. There's 400, which is your reserve. You got about 400 thousand dollar reserve. If I figure that right. Tax account, the rest of those. Well, that hasn't come in yet. That comes in in the middle of March. <coughs> now, this money you have right here, this is Kathy's treasurer's report. Yes. That's about 400000 If you take that 100000 that goes to the fire fund that you can't touch. 
that's our reserve. Isn't that how I think about it? Is there any other money well, someplace else? Our reserve, it, some of this tax savings, when I do my distributions, I wait all year to do it to the township, the fire department, the lighting. Um, well, how much is that? How much do you add out of that?